Hi everybody, welcome to MH Box Breaker. I'm Mark. I'm here sharing my BGS subscription uh, sub submission uh, that I just got back. Uh, it went down, kind of got hung up down uh, in California, or in Dallas, sorry, for BGS. And uh, all of the stuff that's going on with uh, the virus. And uh, I just got my uh, order back, so... Uh, I have done all the finicky stuff, taking out of the plastic and everything else, and uh, I just want to share the cards with you real quick. And uh, we had some good uh, good hits, and uh, I'll explain uh, some of the misses, uh, why they were misses. Um, first one out was the Ty Jerome uh, Galactic by um, for the Revolution nine five nine five nine five corners edges and surface or uh, centering edges and corners surface was a nine let's just bring that in a little bit there we go uh, nice card overall um, really sparkly <laughs> as all the galactics are that is a case hit got it out of a uh, group break I did with uh, Leighton sports cards and uh, the next one uh, is the uh, Bowman Chrome Draft uh, Sapphire Gold Logan Davidson. It's a 7 of 15. 7 of 15 right there. And uh, I just thought this deserved to be graded. Um, thought it would be uh, True Gem Mint, but uh, Surface got a 9 on it. These sparkly surfaces are always hard uh, to figure out if you're going to get a good grade or not. <clears throat> Next one up was uh, a Mint 9 1819 Prism uh, Tiger Stripe of Mobamba uh, from Choice. Mint 9. Uh, again, those uh, I believe are case hits uh, as well. Centering was 8.5, edges were 9.5, corners were 9, surface was 9. So, uh, yeah, I knew this was going to have a little bit of a issue with the uh, centering, but... Uh, yeah, so uh, any Mobamba fans? These are all going to be up on my site at MH Auction and Sales. I will drop a link to the site. Um, I usually auction these off. Um, Donruss uh, Optic uh, Pink Velocity uh, Darius Garland. Uh, we got centering 9.5, edges 9.5, corners 9.5, and surface 9.5. So uh, another strong card there. Uh, True Gem Mint. Uh, having uh, 9.5 in all the subgrades. Just a really nice, uh, attractive card. And uh, this one I was really excited about. Got this one also in a break uh, with Leighton uh, Group Break. Uh, centering 9.5, edges 9.5, corners 9.5, surface 9. I thought I'd get a, at least, I, I thought it could be close to a 10. Um, but we got a 9.5, so uh, we can't uh, be too disappointed in that. Um, I think it's a better card than that, but eh, it's my opinion, and uh, I'm not the greater. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, I was really excited about to have that card. Uh, I really like uh, R.J. Barrett, Canadian boy. And uh, one of five, Mr. Clinton Portis, uh, Panini Impeccable 2018 uh, retired um, patch autos. This one uh, got a nine... Uh, missed it by um, a little bit. Edges were 9. Uh, I think I could have got a 9.5 on the edges, but eh. You know, we're splitting hairs. So centering 10, edges 9, corners and surf uh, corners were a 9, surface was a 9.5. So, um, yeah, just a really attractive card on a 5. I had a mishap with this one. I kind of screwed up one of the edges when I pulled it out of its, uh, um, its mag. Um, it slipped out of my hand and uh, bumped the mag and I actually ended up uh, doing a little bit of a dent on the edge but uh, otherwise that would have probably been a 9.5 and uh, I would have had a gem mint so uh, yeah I uh, missed a gem mint because uh, I fumbled a card but uh, 10 auto on that one right there so uh, another attractive card now this card um, I knew it was going to be tough. Uh, the only reason I sent it is I needed it to be definitive to know what the grade was. I was fumbling around an A to six, half, seven, seven, five. I didn't know. So for me to sell it raw was going to be really, really difficult to 
have a definitive grade. Now I have a definitive grade. It's the only reason I sold it. Uh, I got really unlucky on a group break. Um, first off the line, uh, uh, Panini Contenders Photo Variation Glimmer. Uh, this is out of 20. Um, really expensive card if it's in really top shape, but uh, it's number 2 of 20. Uh, yeah, I got... I got really unlucky with the condition of it. Um, when I got it from the great break, I was like really disappointed because there were, it was just, it just didn't uh, come up to the standard. But again, if I want to sell this card, I really wanted to be, ha let everybody know what the, the quality was of it. And now it's definitive. So uh, I wasn't far off on what I was grading it. I just, uh, like I said, I needed to be sure. Now the last card, real fun one. Got this another group break at Layton's um, in their Almanac series. Uh, Gold Strike Autograph Black, John Elway, 1 of 1, Mint 9, Centering 9, 5, Edges 9, Corners 8, 5, Surface 9. Um, that's what to be expected. Gold Strike doesn't really have the greatest quality control, but uh, big old 1 of 1 right there. 10 auto, really attractive card, great for any Elway fan. That'll be up on my site for sure. Uh, for sale. I think there's another one up there. It's out of 10 and the guy's asking $138 US for it. But uh, let's see what this one does at auction. And uh, we will do the uh, Lamar Jackson uh, card. This is my green spectrum. Also got it out of Break It Layton's. 10 of 50. Um, this also came out of the um, Almanac uh, series 3 patch. Great card. Um, this would come back about a mint nine. Um, I've pre graded it. Ten auto. Ten auto for sure. Excuse me, guys. So um, I think I'll send it. I just need a few more cards to uh, send down uh, so I have another batch. Hate to say in individual cards. I mean, even though this is like a three, four hundred dollar card. Um, <clears throat> I just hate sing, uh, sending single cards, but uh, anyhow, if you have any comments, um, questions about grading, um, what kind of things I use to grade with, um, tools of the trade, this is a big one, you can pick it up at a gem shop or anywhere, just get a jeweler's loop, very important to get a nice and close, nice eight times, this I think this is a ten times, but uh, so you can look at the uh, corners up really close and uh, Really uh, give yourself, you know, make sure you're tough on yourself before you send a card off for grading, and then you uh, do it. But uh, if anybody wants to see how I grade a card um, through the steps I go through or anything like that, drop a comment down in the uh, down below, and uh, I'll go over it, and uh, I can shoot that video uh, how I I like to go about grading cards. Uh, I know I got a 7 in this one, but I was expecting a 7. I was expecting a low number. Uh, it was anywhere between a 6, 5, and an 8. I mean, the condition of the card when I got it was awful, and it's just what it is. But uh, for the secondary market, I wanted it to uh, make sure that everybody knew what the condition of the card was, and not me just guessing on it and saying it's an 8, and, and it's not. So uh, I like to stay true to uh, and honest to all of my card grading. And uh, when I have a problem with trying to figure out what it is, especially on a high-end card like that, I mean, honestly, if that had come back a 9.5, it's, you know, $1,500 card, easy. But as it stands, you know, we'll see what it does. Anyhow, uh, so I don't uh, ramble on too much. Uh, thank you again. Hit the like, bell, subscribe. Uh, and uh, I'll drop the links to... Uh, latent sports cards and my uh, store where these will be up at mh auctions and sales uh for auction and uh thank you for tuning in and uh i look forward to uh sharing my next batch of cards which uh i'm in the process of uh putting together um be it a, a box break uh right now i'm not sure or uh some stuff from Layton, but uh i am working on it so thanks again guys uh Keep on busting those cards, and I'll uh, talk to you soon. Bye for now.